Hey everyone, uh, this is Pepe and I work on the growth team at Reap and I'm mainly focused on driving Reap's Web3 initiatives. Uh, so I'm honored to be here to tell you all about Reap and how we serve Web3 projects like yours. So essentially, Reap is a financial services platform that provides software solutions to projects and businesses. We've been operating since 2018 and our business is centered around two main products, the Reap card and Reap pay. Uh, we initially started serving Web2 companies, but at the start of last year, we've expanded into the Web3 space. So we at Reap recognized the lack of traditional banking services from financial institutions for Web3 companies. And access to fiat rails is one of the biggest challenges Web3 projects face today. Um, and given that the world is still dominated by fiat transactions, such as say, for example, rent, salary, and other operational expenses, our job at Reap is to bridge the gap between the fiat world and Web3 projects. With that, we've already managed to serve some of the big names in the space. So these are some of our Web3 clients. Now, how do we actually work with Web3 companies? Um, like I said before, our ecosystem is built upon two products, ReapCard and ReapPay. And as our user, you'll be able to leverage both to conduct fiat transactions. The ReapCard is a tool businesses can leverage to improve their internal financial operations. It's built on the Visa network. And unlike what's currently available in the market, we offer a secured credit card. A secured credit card in this case means that your fiat credit line will be backed against your crypto, which is used as collateral. I'll be showing you how this works later on. The card is denominated in both HKD and USD. Aside from functioning like your traditional credit card, we've built software solutions on top to make your job easier. These software solutions are focused on improving your internal financial operations, for example, through the use of virtual cards. I will be revis revisiting these features during platform demo. We've also integrated with certain accounting software such as Xero to help streamline your consolidation process at the end of each month or each year. So um, now down to the pricing. Uh, Price-wise, we have no account opening fees, no annual fees, no implementation fees. As I mentioned previously, we intend to help bridge the gap between Web3 and Fiat. As such, we provide projects the ability to settle their credit card bill in crypto, which I will also be showing you how to do later. Repay, on the other hand, is a service that allows you to settle your fiat bank transfers directly from your crypto wallet. So essentially paying for fiat expenses directly from your wallet. This encapsulates all kinds of business expenses, such as salary, rent, professional service, and much more. With that, leveraging the whole REAP ecosystem will enable you to settle your online and offline fiat expenses and have all your information on a user-friendly dashboard. Our app is now available on Google Play Store and on Google Pay, and we will be launching Apple Pay in Q3. So I'm gonna share my screen once again to show you uh, how the dashboard looks like. I've prepared a quick uh, demo. So Essentially, this is how it will look like. Uh, Darren in this situation is the REAP account owner or um, the financial controller. So he can see everyone's expenses. So this is essentially the sleek dashboard design that we've come up with. Uh, as you can see, as a company, you'll be able to track your monthly spend on the card um, from July to June, say for example, as well as a breakdown of some, transac some recent transactions um, from your employees. So. If you go over to spend overview, uh, this is essentially a more comprehensive breakdown of your transactions. So for example, how much you spent on that particular month um, and as well as let's say the top spender. So in this situation, it's Christine. Um, so within the company, she spent the most money on the card as well as which categories and which vendors you pay out to the most. We showed this on the previous slide, but once again, we break down your expenses on month-on-month -month basis so you can track how much you're spending. You'll have the top vendors on the right, um, as well as top categories and top spenders. So essentially, this is the comprehensive breakdown I was alluding to before. Uh, we've categorized your expenses into different expense categories, we call it. So yes, um, this is the transactions board. Uh, you can see how much you've spent on your card 
how much you have left to allocate and your total credit limit, as well as, you know, um, like I said, yeah, your total credit limit. So essentially, uh, there's a hundred thousand US dollar fiat credit limit here. If you want to increase your credit limit, you would have to collateralize more crypto with us. So like here in this function, if I require to say, for example, 10,000 US dollars, um, I would essentially collateralize 10,000 USDC and click that button. And essentially we receive it on the back end. And once we do, we increase your credit limit accordingly. Uh, there's a transaction breakdown here. You can spend, you can see who's spending on which card and how much they've spent um, on each card. So as a financial controller of the business, you'll have a very holistic overview of what your employees are spending on um, and essentially make it easier for you, for you to manage um, internal expenses. You can also export these transaction tabs into a um, CSV or an XLS. Um, on the repayment side, um, as I mentioned during the presentation, we do allow you to repay us in crypto. Um, so essentially at the end of each billing cycle, as we are a credit card, we require, we require a repayment. So in this situation, you would, could use either fiat or crypto to settle your credit, um, credit card bill. Yeah. Um, the billing cycle will be shown there. I think in terms of software power, this is where, you know, we excel the most being able to create unlimited virtual cards, um, for all your team members within the company and being able to, you know, see uh whether it's physical or virtual right in this situation so for each virtual card you can order a corresponding physical card and to create a vir virtual card is very simple so it'll take you to this page um you'll have your team members listed down if you want to create one you can as well but i'm going to use darren in this example um sorry, essentially you write what the, sorry. Three oh minutes yeah left. Uh, so, uh, okay so essentially, yeah. So you just write the card title and you select the card category. Uh, it's just essentially um, our way to be able to call, consolidate your expenses, as I said, and your limit will be available. So you know how much you have left to issue to your employees. So you can either choose a top-up card or a recurring card. I say a recurring card is good for, for like monthly expenses. So for example, um, AWS spend, any software spend, uh, things of that nature. Um, yeah, so I guess I don't want to really overrun my time here. Uh, the last part of the video is just walking you through how you can um, send crypto directly from your wallet um, and pay for fiat expenses. But if you guys are interested to learn more, uh, I'm going to show you my Telegram group, uh, sorry, my Telegram QR code and just feel free to scan it and reach out to me. Uh, yeah, separately. So yes. Uh, sure, Thank you. I think we have heard like two questions from the audience seats. Uh, one is from Eugene and one is from Tingwen. Can you start with the first one? Is Ripple available in Singapore and who is your banking partner? Uh, uh, sorry, where the question? Oh, here I go. Okay. Is Reap available mm -hmm. in Singapore? Uh, yes, Reap is available in Singapore. Uh, the cards are issued out of Hong Kong, but the cards can be used globally, right? So we cover a lot of jurisdictions. Essentially, since we're built on Visa, that means... Um, Wherever visa is accepted, then our card would essentially be accepted. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of okay. banking partner, um, Eugene, I'm happy to chat about it offline. Uh, just reach out to me, uh, like I said, via Telegram, and we can connect. Can you okay. We you still have a second question from Ching Wen. Right. Do you get uh, like Ching Wen? Yes. He's got a mm -hmm. three-part question. Yeah. So currently, we have an MSO license. And uh, we are, I'd say our KYC process is quite stringent uh, since we do also onboard Web3 companies. Uh, so like I said before, we do still serve a lot of Web2 companies, um, which is why we go through the traditional KYC process. Uh, and our Web3 companies, I'd say the KYC process is quite different, um, but it's also quite stringent since we do issue um, to countries or companies who don't uh, essentially reside in Hong Kong. Existing customers uh, on the Web3 side, uh, these are, I'd say, our biggest customers um, who are essentially, like I showed you, using all our services, not just the card, but also using uh, repay to either pay their employee salary, pay for rent, or just, for example, like pay for suppliers abroad. So, yes. Mm 